Hey guitar fans, it's Gospel Guitars here and I see people asking this question on 11 rack videos almost all the time and they just kind of go by the fall by the wayside there. So I thought I'd do a quick video about it and show how the question is how do I hook up my 11 rack which is this bad boy over here and this guy how do I hook it up to this guy over here well, it's very, very simple. You take one cord, plug your guitar into your 11 racks input, take another cord and run it from your output the amp either on the front or the back of this unit. There's two of them. Run the output of that into the input of your guitar amplifier. Done. Connection's done. Now what you need to do is tell the 11 rack which part okay, of the setup you want to go into your screen. amplifier. So well, of course clean. There are several it. different settings you can use for sending the signal from your 11 rack to your guitar amp and it's up to you which part you want to break in off of. And which, which section do you want to pipe from. So if you hold the edit rack two seconds you'll come to your user option screen. So right here you have outputs to amp. And I'm sorry that it's kind of glary and blurry, but I've dimmed this LED screen as low as I can put it. And my little camera here doesn't really have too much control over lighting issues. So you want to select output to amp. And then you want to hit switch one and it brings you to the output to amp setup screen. And you'll notice down here, there's a lit knob, only one. And what it does is it allows you to select which signal you want to go out to your amplifier with. Currently it says rig out no cab. Now it also simulates the resonation of a speaker. So this over here is turned on and off by switch two. So you can have the resonation of the speaker without the cabinet, if you prefer that sound. You can turn the knob a little bit more and you get rig output, which is the entire rig. From input to output, you get everything that you've programmed into the patch. Amp output is what's coming after the amplifier. So anything before the amp is active, and if you got stuff after the amp, you're going to skip it. Amp input is what it says at the amp's input. And then you have rig input, which is in front of everything before the amplifier. Because you can place boxes there and move them before or after your amplifier. And you can choose to include the amp modeling or leave it out and use only the effects, depending on how you set, set up your patch. And you'll notice that you have output one and output two here, and you can set these both differently. So I could have one as rig, or let's say I want to have my effects, so I'll take amp input. If I go to two, I might want the whole rig going to a recording, some recording console. So the whole thing, speakers, simulators, everything can go there. So you can set these both differently. You just need another cord to run it to whatever you're running into, be it a mixer or a recorder or something. But that's all there is to it. You just back out of it and now you're good to go. You don't necessarily have to save it. Um, it's going to keep that set up until you change it from patch to patch. So that is how you set up your 11 rack with your amplifier. So that's the brig. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. It was quick and dirty. And you just need to sit down with the 11 rack and experiment with the different break off points and see what you like to use and what you don't like to use. Do you like the resonator? Do you not like the resonator? You can have it on and off with or without the cabs and pick up you know, if you like the sound of your amp, you don't want to have the amp modeler running all the time. Just your amp, you can you can do that. You can shut off the amp models. So that's all there is to it. Um, have fun playing with it. 
and thanks for watching the video and I hope you uh, like and subscribe as I continue to turn out more and more videos hopefully answering the questions that I see out there floating around on YouTube about gear and guitars so thanks for subscribing ahead of time help me hit the 8,000 mark folks thanks